Well, hello and welcome to another Friday football forecast. I'm Jeff Jones, joined as always by my good friend Cedric Golden. Cedric, we're getting close to the end of the year, but this yes, matchup sir. this weekend, well, it's a big time matchup with Baylor, don't you agree? I think it's a great matchup. And, and just think, if Texas had figured out how to beat Iowa State mm. and then Baylor loses to OU, then we got the runner-up position for the Big 12 that's possibly on the line. As it stands, Texas has got to win and then get a lot of help. Something that shocked me earlier in the week that we heard is during Coach Tom Herman's Monday press conference, he actually said that this year's Longhorns team and this year's Baylor team are very similar. Now, the records, 6-4 and four for the Longhorns and 9-1 and one for the Bears, are not very similar. Mm -hmm. Do you see Baylor and Texas as similar teams? Yes, I do. I think, uh, in the, and especially in the area of quarterback. Those guys, Sam Ellinger and Charles Charlie Brewer, are very similar. Physical running back, I mean, physical running backs slash quarterbacks that throw the football and run it, and uh, tough guys, tough-minded, uh, alpha dogs, very very good in the locker room. Uh, offensive lines are similar. I think Texas has the edge there. Uh, running backs, eh, so-so. I think where Baylor has the edges on defense. Both of these teams are coming off of losses, disappointing mm -hmm. outings for the Longhorns and the Bears. Who's going to handle disappointment better? I think Baylor will uh, because they did lose to OU, Jeff Jones, but you look at it, they're up 28-3 to on OU. Texas has never been up 28-3, <laughs> not, not in the Tom Her Herman era on OU. So you look at what Baylor has done, their resume is better. Their uh, wins are better, and if they beat in Oklahoma, they'd have a chance for the CFP. Time now for a little rapid fire. We'll I go love quick it. questions, quick answers. My first rapid fire question for you, Cedric: Who on this year's Longhorns team has those nerves of steel? With the game on the line, who do you trust to make that tackle, that kick, that run, that catch? Who's the guy whose name you're calling with the game on the line? I think Sam Ellinger has nerves of steel. Has he? Has he delivered every single time? I don't think he has, but I still think he's the alpha dog on this team. He don't play scared. He's one of those guys that, that if it comes down to it, you want to be him on your team instead of playing against him. Who on this year's Longhorns team do you believe could be a great future coach? That is a great question. A great future coach, which is usually a guy that's, that might not make it in the league. Uh, I'm going to say... Brandon Jones. Mm. I mean, Brandon Jones might make it in the league. Brandon Jones has the look. He's smart. He lives in the film room. Um, he's one of those guys who's a motivator. Uh, he's, he doesn't play scared. And, and he's grown up with the game. I think Brandon Jones would be a good head coach somewhere. I know that Longhorns fans want to see an upset victory in Waco tomorrow. Will they see it? Tell us what's going to happen. Oh. They're not going to win, man. They're not going to win. Like, Iowa State, I told you they lose in a close game. Mm -hmm. This will be also be a close game. Texas, I think, loses 27-24. I think Baylor's defense will make one more stop than Texas's, and that's going to be it. Yeah, you said one more stop, one more play made by Baylor. I agree. I think that's what's going to happen. You're I have, agreeing with me I this agree week. With you this You're week. coming aboard after last week. Well, learn yeah, I guess from your so. mistakes. You, you know, you called it right last week, and I think we're both, unfortunately, for Longhorns fans, calling it right this week. I'm saying UT falls in this one, 35 to 31. Thanks for joining us for another Friday football forecast. Be sure to follow his work in the Austin American Statesman.